joining us. It's a name Canadians have trusted for years, but tonight there's more bad news for Sears Canada. About a year ago, the Home Services Division was taken over by a new company that retained the Sears name. Not even a year later, that company has filed for bankruptcy, owing millions of dollars. And as Ramina Dea reports, hundreds of customers and contractors are now getting a nasty surprise. The paperwork keeps piling up. Hundreds of invoices, but Chris Ravanello still hasn't been paid. How much money are you owed? The figure is hard to determine. I mean, ultimately, the receiver's report says we're owed $364,000. For 20 years, Ravanello said he ran Sears Carpet Cleaning, building the brand and its loyal customer base. In January 2013, Sears Canada announced a new company would be operating the home installation division using the brand name Sears Home Services. It was supposed to be business as usual. Fast forward to December when SHS went into receivership. According to court documents, it owes almost $9 million to contractors, including over $364,000 to Ravenello. We want everybody to know that we didn't do anything wrong here. I mean, we, we were the victims here, just like all the customers who paid their money and everything else. About 1,800 customers across Canada are also affected, potentially 1.8 million in claims. One supplier who didn't get paid is apparently putting liens on dozens of homes that had work done through SHS. Oddly enough, the media spokesperson for Sears Canada refused to do an on-camera or recorded interview because he just didn't want to. Over the phone, Vince Power told us he's not going to comment on people's feelings. The money owed to contractors is in the receivership process. In a statement online, Sears Canada is telling customers it will ensure all current SHS warranties are honored, whether installed by Sears or SHS. I've had enough. I mean, I can't. I've got to support my business. I've got 23 employees that rely on me to, uh, you know, to feed their families. Ravanello is working on getting his employees back to work. He just signed a new deal with Canadian Tire. He's also talking to lawyers about launching a lawsuit against Sears Canada. Ramina Dea, Global News.